All right, dude. Hey everybody, this is Pablo with Mattress Makers. I'm here with my brother Gabe. Hello. And in this episode of Mattressology, we are gonna talk about what is the best adjustable base for side sleepers or stomach sleepers. So let's go. So we just recently shot a video on the possible best position for you and talk about the zero gravity position. And it was a great video, but question that's been coming up quite a bit, and we've been getting this question for years is, what happens if you sleep on your side or if you have to sleep even more elevated than that, if you have acid reflux or apnea, or if you sleep on your stomach? I recently had a customer that they cannot control the way they sleep. They sleep on their stomach and they, they, they've tried to sleep on their, their back and they just can't, but they also need to sleep elevated because they have acid reflux. So what is the best sleep or the best adjustable base for them. Why is this important? Yeah, because you know if you're going to be sleeping flat, right, and and um, you know you've got that acid reflux, that those that acid is going to keep coming up. This is your head. Pretend this is your acid or your stomach juices, your stomach acids. You know, so if you're flat, what happens is it gets up into your esophagus. Esophagus. And sometimes it gets past your esophagus and you get that burning, that heartburn burning sensation because your stomach acids are getting up right here if you could see that. But if you just tilt your head, you know, it takes, takes care of that. But sometimes you, people need to be a little bit more elevated so they don't have to worry about that issue. Yeah, they got to sleep elevated. You see people that try it with the pillow wedge and here's so many customers with the pillow wedge and they say, man, that thing is just, it doesn't work, right? It's just not quite right. Yeah. Like this is where they're at, you know, it doesn't give them this back support and stuff. Or they're sliding off the bed. Or they're sliding yeah, off the, the, the wedge, bed. you know. Yeah, it's moving around on them. And the, the good thing about the adjustable bases is that you can control the angle, you know. However, for, for people who tend to need to sleep more elevated, then you're just a typical slight little little lift. Then there we do have a base. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about because some your typical base is gonna kind of flex and bend you, you know, where some people may have an issue with. So I'm gonna let me introduce you to Daniel. We have Daniel here. He's a special guest. He's our model for the uh, the mattresses, but actually he's right now he's one of our uh, yes. great sales guys. He's not only a, our resident mattressologist, but he's also a model, or maybe vice versa. He's not only a model, he's also our resident mattressologist. Say hi, Daniel. Hey guys. What we're gonna show you is a typical adjustable base is going to bend you and to flex you. And most people are side sleepers, so we'll have Daniel first start on his side. He had acid reflux and he's on his side and he's trying to use the adjustable base. Let's see what, what has happened. I'm looking behind him to see how his spine, you know, is gonna be in alignment. This is how your typical adjustable base lifts your head, which is not bad, but you'll see where the issue is. Daniel, tell me when, if you start feeling time, I'm gonna stop. Okay, so I hope the camera could catch this clear, but you see how right here, there is that bend, it has that flex to it. If you could see that okay. So your typical adjustable base is gonna kind of bend you like right in here, which if you're on your side or if you're some, you could kind of see how it could be problematic for you. You know, and like if you're sleeping in that position, six or seven or eight hours a night, it'll take a toll on you. You know, from back here, you see it more like if there's like that kink in the back. Yeah, it's like a crick, kind of just kinks you, kind of just crunches you. Let's go back flat really quick. So now we're back to flat. Now I'm gonna show you why I recommend an adjustable base like this. Now we're gonna go with a flat tilt and just see how it keeps it straight. He's still getting elevated where he needs to be. So Daniel, how you how does this feel? It feels good. My back still feels very like straight and supported, and I don't feel pinched at all. I'm doing more extreme than most people would. This is gonna show you how much how high you could go with a base like this without feeling any pain and any any kinks in the back. You don't have obviously most people are not gonna go this high, but this just shows you how a base like this can go quite high and take care of any breathing issues, any acid reflux issues. But the big thing I like about this base is that it's keeping you straight. It's keep giving him the elevation that he needs for his, for his breathing or for any acid reflux. But at the same time, it's keeping him straight. I'm gonna show you on the stomach. Now for stomach sleepers too. Now stomach sleepers are, it's really bad to go kinked and that's one thing in that, that video that we did on zero gravity, where you do not want to be in that bent position. 
And that can be really problematic if you sleep on your stomach for obvious reasons. Let me show you really quick. We're gonna lower this. We're starting flat. Daniel, how you feel right now? Feel good. Yeah, now here's the thing. Sleeping on your stomach is probably like the worst position to sleep in. I do not recommend you sleep on your stomach. It is tough on the lower back. It's tough on the neck, tough on the shoulders. However, I understand how it's a hard habit to change. You know, it's sleeping on your on your stomach. You know, people just can't help it. They have to sleep on their stomach for some reason. And I, so if you have to sleep on your stomach, but you also have to sleep elevated too, for whether if it's breathing issues or acid reflux issues, this is it. Little side note, if you really wanna mess with the person, your partner that you're sleeping with, or if they, they get you mad, if they're sleeping on their stomach, then if you do that bent position, I'm just kidding, don't do that. I was just joking. Do not do this. But Daniel, tell me when to stop. I'm gonna put you in that bent position. And you can see again, right here, it's gonna bend. Stop. Tell me to stop. Okay, see, he's already started filling that that kink and I'm, I had Daniel sign a waiver before we did this just so he doesn't sue us after we're done with this and he's young he can he's flexible so I just put him flat again so yeah you can imagine if you're sleeping in that position on your stomach but you have to just even a half an hour it could really cause problems but now I'm gonna go ahead and do it straight again okay Daniel how are you feeling right now Good. Yeah. Yep. So as you can see, it's quite. I'm lifting it quite high. There's like actually a, quite a big change in the elevation, but there's no issue with his back. You know, there's he can still sleep if he needed to sleep on his stomach, but he also needed to sleep elevated. There, I have no issue with him sleeping in this position. You know, so there's no bend. That's why I say this is probably this a base this style is probably one of the best bases if you see if you need to sleep on your side or if you need to sleep on your stomach. The base that we're currently as of this recording, we're currently using the GlideAway base. It's a GlideAway Motion 600 that you can get it from just give us a call, we can ship it out to you. Yeah, this has been what we found the best solution for anybody who sleeps on their side or their stomach. With that being said, I hope this helped you guys. If you guys have any questions, on your mattress shopping journey. If you guys have any questions on adjustable bases, just put them in the comments below or reach out to this in one of the stores. And we have a mattress guide that talks about, you know, your tips on mattress shopping and mistakes not to make. And then maybe if you're lucky, you might talk to Daniel. So Daniel, anything you have to say? No, nah, come on into one of the showrooms. We're happy to help you. We love our bases, and I know we, you will too. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Sleep well. <laughs> it don't, don't, don't. <laughs> <laughs>